Hello everybody, it's Ripper through 5 welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Spec Ops and all the features that it has. Uh, okay, uh, first of all, <coughs> uh, I ain't about to talk. <coughs> first of all, the weapons are basically the same loadout and ignore the fact that's his monkey. Uh, but the but it's basically the same as offline multiplayer, so there's nothing really different. The only thing I didn't show in an offline multiplayer video was these right here. Yeah, that's pretty much it for they're right there and I didn't show off all these but they're not hard to read what these are so you know what these are same with this except for that right there those enemies through walls the heartbeat sensor and you guys are there the health the health gas yeah, grenade and you got a decoy grenade Sounds like a speaker, which it is, as you can clearly see. Where it just makes sounds like gunfire and stuff. Don't really distract you at all, except for if you're looking at a dot on the screen or something, it might distract you. But other than that, you got this right here. And then you got all this different stuff. Yes, shoot. Maybe. And this right here is just a lot. Kill streaks you can get stuff so for the mode. And this right here is all the different roles you can select. So you have the heavy row, recon, generations, and you have the medic, salt, and engineer. And as you can see, I kind of went through the past. They have their own little perks to the bottom. So that's it for that part. And then this right here, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I haven't really checked it out, so. Maybe it's. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, it's the same as I've done last time, so. It's nothing special. If you want to see all this stuff, you need to go to. It's like this. If you want to see all this stuff, you need to go to my other video where I show off uh, offline multiplayer. And all this stuff is the same as well. It's nothing really different as far as a lot of this stuff goes. It's just that right there, and that's the only thing that's different. As far as like the multiplayer. And I'm not too sure, but I think you can do split screen go up. I mean, it has player one or player, so I'm guessing you can. I think I tried it, but it didn't work because the game's just bugged right now because they're constantly working on updates trying to fix all the crashing problems that people are having. But I don't know when it's going to be 100% fixed where everything works properly. But just keep that in mind if you try to play this on the split screen. But the only thing you can play is this right here, which is safeguard, or it's just waves and waves of enemies. And you're in this little small area, don't know they even where to go, and so there's not really much for you to do as far as offline as that goes, unless they add stuff later on in the future. But yeah, I think it's pretty much it. And hopefully they will add more stuff offline 
people in the future, but uh, one thing I was trying to think of that I need to say. This right here, after you beat the campaign, and what you can do before the campaign, but after you beat the campaign if you're on Xbox, I don't know about PlayStation or PC, I don't know how that works. But if you're on Xbox, you have to go to the store and download the Spec Ops Pack 2 in order to get this. In order to get Safeguard, so that's what you have to do in order to play it because it will say that you either have to own Spec Ops Pack 2 or you have to buy Spec Ops Pack 2 in order to be able to play that. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to play the game or you want to play Spec Ops anyway, play Safeguard. So hope that loosely covers everything. I mean, I'm sorry I kind of went through everything. Just there's not really much for me to show that I already sh have showed before in a video before, so if you want to see that, uh, go to my, like, my last video. It has to do with offline settings and features for more warfare. Uh, but that's, I mean, pretty much it. And that's the reason why I said somebody in the comment section that. I'll maybe do a video on this because I'm not too sure if there's really anything to do video alone and it's really not. But I figure I showed anyway so if anybody wants to see what you get when you play offline, this is literally just it. There's not really anything here that really caters to anybody offline, which hopefully sooner or later they will start listing people and actually start doing stuff for people who plays offline. Because there's a lot more people offline wanting features than there are people online at this point. And people say it's integrated by some people, but it's not. There's some people want some new features for offline. But hopefully sooner or later they add 10v10, 20v20, and their 2v32 ground war for offline. Because right now they don't have that at all. And hopefully they will add that because some of the maps are too large where you do be playing like 12 players on. It's just stupid. So hopefully they fix it. But anyways. That's basically all I have to say, so just let me know what you think about all this stuff, if I should have done better on stuff, uh, what you like and don't like about my channel, and well that's it for the video, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all later.